Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well and you're into the world. Today I am out again in Kentucky, kind of exploring around, and I have stopped at one of my go-to places, which is Cave Hill Cemetery in Louisville, Kentucky. And I highly recommend if you've not been here to just come on out. I could do a million videos here. This place is awesome. But I'm going to show you today uh, one of the grave sites, well, two grave sites of some sisters who wrote the most popular song in the English language. So let's check it. So I'm out here in a uh, section G of the cemetery, which is kind of a forgotten, lonely little spot out here. Uh, Cave Hill is known for being just an absolutely gorgeous cemetery, and it is. It's several hundred acres, huge, beautiful monuments and statuary, the trees and plants here, it's an arboretum as well, uh, very well maintained, a very beautiful place, lots of uh, rare trees and plantings, uh, and, you know, being several hundred acres, hundreds of, well, uh, tens of thousands of burials here. Uh, beautiful place. But back to my point, today I'm in a kind of a forgotten little section. It's almost Christmas. Uh, in the newer areas of the cemetery, it's all decked out, but this poor little area is kind of forgotten because anybody that knew any of these folks, well, they're gone too. And uh, so anyway, this is just a forgotten little spot. But let me show you some graves that are right over here. And these two sisters, they are actually, well, you might not know their names, but you definitely know their song. So let me introduce you to Patty Smith. And her grave is right here. And her older sister, Mildred Jane Hill. And that's Patty Smith Hill over there. But uh, these two sisters are buried here with, uh, with the rest of their family in a family area here, a little family plot, part of this cemetery. They were both teachers. Uh, and they also were songwriters. Um, Mildred over here was a concert pianist. And she was also a concert organist, as well as being an educator. She lived in Chicago, Illinois, towards the later part of her life. That's where she actually passed away. Both of these sisters, uh, both Mildred and Patty over here, taught uh, in Linden, Kentucky, which is uh, now just a suburb. It, it's Technically, it's its own little city, but it's just part of Jefferson County, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, they taught there in a little one-room schoolhouse, which still stands today. It's been converted into a home. But uh, the Hill Sisters wrote a song for their students, and they published it, and that song was called Good Morning to All. Now, that doesn't sound that impressive, but uh, they published that song and uh, uh, passed it around and sold it, and, uh, you know, they made a little money off of it. It wasn't until after Mildred died, uh, she died in 1916, and in... Uh, 1924 her sister patty over here changed the lyrics to what we all know today to one of the most popular songs in fact guinness book of world records says that their song is in the top three most popular and well-known songs in the english language and that would be happy birthday to you i guarantee you everyone watching this video has sang that song and heard it countless times and uh, never really given it much thought as to who wrote it. But these two sisters wrote it, and it was just a greeting to their students. And then uh, Patty decided it would be a, a nice kind of a um, uh, birthday song. And it made millions and millions of dollars. In fact, it sold, the rights to that song sold in 1988 for $23 million. So even... Uh, you know, after long after their deaths, that song was making a lot of money for, I guess, their estate. But anyway, um, the uh, two sisters were inducted in the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1996 for their song. I haven't been able to really find out what else they wrote. I would assume uh, they were both educators. Their father 
uh, was um, a musician and an educator. He educated women at a women's college. I would assume uh, that they wrote and published many more songs, but I'm not able to find anything about them. And obviously nothing's going to compare. When you write Happy Birthday, you might as well hang it up. What else are you going to really write? But, but uh, I haven't been able to find out anything else about them. There's really not a whole lot more known about their lives, to be honest with you. Uh, I've been able to find very little about them uh, other than they wrote Happy Birthday. Neither was married. Uh, they both died um, having never been married or never had children. So uh, that was the end of their lineage. But here they are tucked away in this quiet little corner of Cave Hill Cemetery. And uh, it's a beautiful area, very peaceful. And uh, this is their resting spot. So if you ever make it here to Cave Hill Cemetery, and uh, definitely recommend that you do because it's such a neat place. I recommend you swing on by here, Section G, and check out the burial plot of the Hill Sisters. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.